Hi, this is Gracie. I uh, just wanted to show you sort of a little bit. I am make I made these uh, so these little pots that I got from Joann's and painted them today. And I have a lot of paints as you can see. I'm a painter. And I made some yellow ones too. And this is the fridge. I'm painting it white because, personally, I think all fridges should be white. So I'm just sort of painting today. But you gotta be careful when painting if, with like a close and open thing because could get stuck permanently together and ruin it. So just be careful about that. Right now it's closed because I just shut it, but I mean, I'm just painting this top layer really fast. And then when you get that done, you don't really want to use your finger because you run it. See when you open it, it's these little marks, and you sort of have to paint them over again. I'm waiting until it dries so that my little paint can get it. And I am also today, what am I doing also? I'm going to be baking with my clay. And I think I'm going to start on the living room. And you can get lots of stuff from pitmini.com, but I will show you really quickly how to make a towel. So, what you do is say I wanted a, sorry, one sec. A black towel. See a black towel? You get your scissors. You get your scissors. And what you do is you just cut a little strip about so this big for a big towel. And you cut it. It's really long and it has to be like a perfect rectangle. Then what you do is you take it and you just roll it up like this. And then you can either use fabric glue or I suggest using Elmer's glue or super glue. Some, I did Elmer's glue but it took a while. But for me I just glued Elmer's glue right there and I tied a little twisty tie around it to keep it tight because I didn't want to have to hold it because it takes really long. And yeah, this little perfect little thing. And then to make um, the uh, dish towel, you just get a Q-tip and you cut the fuzzy ends off and then it will have this little stick and you poke it through that hole trying to make it to the other side without messing it up. And it won't be rolled up like this. It will be folded over like that, sort of folded over. And then you have to hold it there. And you want it to make it not too big or too long, but just the right amount of size for your sink or whatever. And, the, and for the toilet paper, say I was using, okay, for hand cloth, you want to probably cut half of the size of you, that you would use for a big towel. And then you just roll it up, but halfway, not too much. Cut off the extra like this so that's small smaller and then you glue it and then you get another q-tip cut the fuzzies off and make it even smaller and stick it through there and glue it to where your toilet is and you can also just use this for as a hand towel it will look really cute so that's about it for now and see you guys later oh and to make those those are out of q-tips you could use the fuzzies actually so, bye.